Piggy, a little cochi, like don't wiggle your butt sticks, little stink pig, like your booty. What the? Do you see one? Yep. Huh? You see one? Huh? Where? 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 Damn, you just farted and I felt it on my leg. You're nasty. Damn, you stink. Okay, so it's been a minute since I've actually posted a video. I mean, that's what happens when you tag out early. Um, so I'm out here scabbing with, you know, my daughter. Um, so I'm sitting there. I have a new boat and everything. Yay. So I wanted to make sure it's on. And how I always check if the, the bow is shooting right. I try to shoot a jackrabbit or a rabbit or something. I was about to leave. Look over. There's a rabbit standing there. Range it. 20 yards. Shoot back. Smoked it. <laughs> I'm going to go grab it with my daughter. <laughs> she might grab it. Hammered. Boom. Freaking smoked. Look at that. Jeez. What happened? What happened? Get her face. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I got it. It's pretty cool that she was here, even though it's just a boon cracker rabbit. Look it, look it, look it. <laughs> Don't poke it. Soon she'll be shooting them. All right. <clears throat> I came out this morning. I want you out the morning. Have a javelina tag. Hadn't classed them up all morning. Went around. Saw a few deer. I'm coming down. And sure enough, they're right in front of me. I'm going to try to sneak in. I can smoke one with a new bow. Whew. It's about to get real. Stay tuned.
two yards. <clears throat> Should do a gap. I hope I got it on GoPro because like it's a little iffy on my GoPro right now. Cause I'm using a clip. Let's see. You hear the what the? <laughs> it's funny because I literally just set up my bow yesterday, and it's a brand new bow. <laughs> I don't think it's a big pig, but. Tags out. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so that is the gap I had to shoot through, right? Oops. So that's the gap I had to shoot through. 22 yards. <laughs> Hit him in the neck, because that's all I could see, literally. I mean, just waiting, because he was still kicking a little bit. He's not a giant pig. Um, it's funny because I was going to record walking in, but then I was like, you know what? I just need to get in here, hauled ass in, and then, uh, sat there for a few, started glassing and stuff, and didn't see anything but deer. Um, I went around the, the hillside. I just, like, went around and started glassing there, and I ran into, like, four or five does, and I was like, dude, it would have been cool if there was, like, a buck with them, but no um and then i was like you know what i have a feeling they're gonna be there but i'd rather just go there so as soon as i started stepping around i saw a glimpse and i was like yep there they are boom found them snuck in i i was in a wrong i was they were a lot higher than i thought they were <laughs> because there was a cactus i was looking at and i was like they're right behind it but they i guess they moved up when i was stalking in and then as soon as i got in I look up and homeboy's looking at me and I was like, mm, I mean, he's the first pig I see, 20, it was like 22 yards, but just put the 20 pin on him, let her rip, tater chip. Let's go take a look at it. Look at this, all that covered. <laughs> I could just replace the blades, but perfectly good shape. Other than the blades, broke through bone, hit a rock at the back end. So well, now I'm gonna go grab them. All right. As you can see, I got it done. Um, I can only hunt half a day today. And <laughs> I came in this morning, started glassing, and um, didn't see anything on this hillside. And then went back around, started glassing that side, started seeing some deer. Um, a few deer, like maybe five or so. Uh, no bucks, which was surprising to me. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight back. And I came straight back. And as soon as I came around the corner and I was gonna get a little different, a better angle, and I see some movement, sure as shit, these guys. I was about to hurt a four or five. And, and the last one I saw was a small one. So I had a point where they were at. And I started making my stock in and then sure enough, they were not where I expected them to be. They actually went a little higher because I was gonna try to get up on top of them and shoot down. Turns out they <laughs> they ended up going a little higher. <coughs> Excuse me. And as soon as I took a few steps forward, this one was looking right at me. And I had a little gap about this big and I ranged it 22 yards. So I just put my 20 yard pin on them and drew back settle the pin and boom let it rip i have the gopro going um but you can't really see because of the little pocket i'm shooting and then you're shooting at these little stink pigs you know it's a little hard but i i got it done <laughs> with only half a day's work and check this out i'm shooting a brand new bow as you can see and this 
this bow is shooting amazing. I'm shooting the Mach 34. Um, I have the S2 cams on it. It's 70 pounds. And I'm shooting the Eastern Axis long range. So it's a four millimeter um, diameter, diameter. And I'm still shooting the 125 Levi Morgans because they just devour everything you hit. I'm loving this bow. I got a brand new sight on this. This whole setup is literally brand new. And it's shooting 293 with the 464 grain arrow. What more could you ask for? Yes, it's all about speed to some people, but to some people, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's all about shot placement. And my shot placement, it could have been better, but he dropped him. I dropped him in his tracks. And if you if you notice right now, if you go back to, actually, I'll leave the video up on the top right here in the little card thing. This is the exact same spot my Javelina died last year, and I was on time crunch. And same thing happened here. I'm not really on a time crunch, but I only have half a day to hunt because tomorrow I have to go back up to my job. Um, and yeah, I, I thought it was a lot smaller than he was, but he's a lot bigger than I. It was surprising. I walked up on him. I was like, oh, dang, that's a that's a pretty big pig. I thought he was a lot smaller. Um, but I hit him in the neck and dropped him. And then as soon as I walked up there to go get him, he jumped up, took off, and then the arrow just, like, fell out. And as soon as he went, started tumbling down, he just started rolling down the hill and literally died exactly where my pig died last year, which is so crazy so crazy i'm literally sitting in the same spot i'm about to take some photos the exact same spot and everything but with a brand new setup and everything like that it was freaking amazing um we're trying to get some more videos out to you guys but we've both been busy so we're trying to get some more hunts um we might bring some more people along with us and be a part of it we're still working on it but overall man i freaking got it done on a half day, I literally sighted this bow in yesterday. I fletched those arrows last night. Dang. Blessed, man. This is freaking amazing. He's got a little wart on his top of his head. His ears are all cut up. This is freaking awesome. So now I'm just going to, I got to gut him, take some pictures, and then head back to the truck and go pick up my daughter. Man, this is freaking fun. <laughs> This is freaking fun. I was out here yesterday with my daughter. We were glassing, and then she shot. She she saw me shoot um, a rabbit with this bow. And every time I get a brand new bow, I like to shoot a jackrabbit or a rabbit just to know if you can hit a rabbit or a jackrabbit, then you know that you can hit something. And sure enough, I got it done. I love it. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some more action. There's more to come. We still have January and the rest of this December, and then. Who knows what happens next year but like and subscribe share share the videos we we hope you guys like what we're putting out and stay tuned for more look at that big old kochi <laughs> Got it all packed up. Now I just gotta hike all the way back to the to the truck. This is the fun part. Man, this is freaking awesome. Like, got it done with a half day <laughs> on a pretty decent pig. Dang, that's my 12th harvest with a bow. Um, ever since I got introduced into archery by my uncle, he uh, he got me addicted to this stuff. And man, thank you, bro. Thank you for getting me into this, literally. I really appreciate it. Cause now it's just, I just wanna start hunting with the bow and that's all I love to do. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Finally got back to the truck. 
from a successful Metro Kochi tag. Yeah, these little stink pigs are fun to hunt with the bow. It's like they were made for bow hunting. Might try it with a recurve sometime. Hmm. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if I should try it with the recurve.